Hey everyone, Trina here, back with day 41, or 42, sorry, of the Mixed Media 100 Day Project. Um, I'm going to work again with the Jelly Plate today and make some marks here. I kind of want something coming down here. Okay, we're going to start off with some yellow okra. Okay, I've mixed up some yellow okra and unbleached titanium. I'm just going to come in here and roll this out. Ooh, that's fun. You can make marks with that too. With the roller, I like it. Okay, let's make a few marks through here. Okay. I um, want to take a bit of paper though and take off some of this down here at the bottom. Oh, sorry. Gonna put this right here. I want to try the transfer image again. I'm gonna come up with some green, I think. I think the green will look really cool over top of this layer. Maybe just green and black today. I'm gonna try to keep it color palette. I really like that. That's really cool. Okay, I'm mixing up a little bit of the sap green, yellow okra, and some titan bleach titanium white. Make this color. I might want a little darker. Okay, I've added in a little bit more of the... Um, added in some paints gray to this. Give us this nice sort of sappy green color. I might want it to be a little bit more blue. Okay, this is what we're going to be transferring. Let's put down some color here. Maybe not that much. Pull it out. I think this is going to be pretty fun. Okay. Take this in. Okay. It looks a little light, but I think that's because of the ink or the paint is transparent. It's maybe not as bold as I want it to be. Definitely not as bold as I thought it was going to be. Hmm. Okay, we're going to try that again. A little bit darker color and a different stencil or a different transfer. Added some black to this. We're going to try this piece here. See if we can get something a little bit more graphic. That's better. Okay, let me wipe off some of this. So I think instead of wiping it off, I'm just going to scrape it off a little bit. Because some of these marks are kind of cool. Okay, but we need to be work a little quicker. So we get this down. Ugh. 
I mean, I'm having no luck today. Okay, let's come in with a little bit of the Nico Azo. I wiped some of that paint off because it was just gross. I don't know why that wasn't working today. Who knows? I don't know. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It doesn't work twice. It just frustrates me, so <laughs> move on to something else. I'm gonna kinda like what we got going on here. Let's add a little bit more of that green. I think my feeling is, is that this watercolor paper is too textured um, for that technique. Maybe we'll try again tomorrow on a different paper. Let's see what we get. I think, it, I mean, it should work. It kind of worked yesterday, but it's just not quite where I want it to be. Okay. Okay, let's add in a little bit of this Payne's Gray through here. Get some fun things working. Let's a little bit of green in there. Um, can see when I'm working with this how textured this paper is. I think that's what's giving me issues. It's good for watercolor, but maybe not so much for printing. So we might have to pull out some Reeves BFK tomorrow and try that technique again. Or maybe just some drawing paper. in some of this Amsterdam yellow just through here. I don't know if I'm gonna blend it or not. Oh, I kind of like how it's like those marks are fun. Over top of that. I was gonna blend it, but I think I'm gonna leave it now. Let's come in with a little bit of palette knife. See if we can make these marks look a little more fun. Maybe bring it up a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Do I need more down here? I might just. Oh, that was probably a bad idea. Mm, let's add a little more. Blend out, add more paint. That's uh palette knife is not the right tool, I don't think. bit more as a gold through here. See how those mix together. Ooh, I like that. That's coming along. I like this green. 
with what we got going on here. I'm going to come in with the ink tints. Do a little bit more work up here. This is feeling a little odd to me. I want some more, some bolder marks through here. I'm giving this paper a workout today. Let's go in a little bit with this watercolor black pencil. I just want some marks through here. I'm trying to decide I'm going to add bold black marks to it. So that's me trying it out. Okay, I'm going to add the stencil marks. Wasn't gonna add black, but it needs a bold statement, I think. Paintbrush, what would I be? Okay, it's gonna be this paintbrush. I didn't record any of that. Okay, so I made some stencil marks through here that I didn't record. My apologies. I'm gonna come in with a little bit of the English red just to give us some little pops. Just through here a little bit. If you need those marks, probably need them to go all the way though. Um, I might put a little bit up here. Okay, I think I'm done with this one. I like it. Um, I'm sad that, that that transfer didn't work out, but we got some really cool marks through here once I took everything off and added the... It's kind of glowing. I like it. Um, I like these marks through here. I like the yellow. I really like this line through here. Um, pretty quick, easy today. Um, yeah, let's look at it with Matt. Okay, here it is with the mat. Um, I like it. I think the orange is nice. Like I said, I like the green. I like this color combination of the ochre and the green together. And tomorrow, I do think I'm going to try to work on a different paper and see if we can make that transfer work a little better. Um, it's got good energy. Uh, good layers. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click over here to see a new video. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye.